guys, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, guys, use discount code GLADIATORDG at otbdiscs.com for free shipping. In fact, with that discount code and at OTB Discs, you can actually get yourself a set of the discs that we're going to be reviewing today. So over the last year or so, my channel has grown a lot and there have been a lot of people commenting that uh, are telling me they're beginners or they're asking questions that just let me know that they are pretty much just starting the disc golf journey, meaning maybe they've been playing for less than a year or they've played disc golf for years but never really taken it seriously and over the last year, they've really tried to take it more seriously. So they've been watching some of my videos and recently, I came across this starter pack set by a really, really small company. In fact, the starter pack set is just their three discs. And <clears throat> some of you may have heard of them if you've been on social media and perusing some of the disc retail websites, but you may have heard of Divergent Discs. The reason I mentioned beginner disc golfers is because part of Divergent Discs' mission is to get premium feeling plastic that is truly understable in the hands of beginners. From their website itself, divergentdiscs.com, the link is in the description, you can check them out. Okay, Divergent Discs is different from other disc golf companies. While the focus of most disc golf manufacturers is on the professional player, our focus is on the everyday recreational player. Here are a few reasons why you should consider trying Divergent Discs. Their three reasons are simplicity, easy to throw, and affordable. I like those three reasons for beginner disc golfers. Simplicity. Our discs are simple. You don't need to be overwhelmed by all the different plastic types and variations. The molds are in bright basic colors and standard weights make it easy to choose and replace. These three divergent discs that I have in my hand all range between 166 and 169 grams, which is easy to throw. Our discs are designed for the average player. The average disc golfer does not throw 400 plus feet, which is true. In fact, survey results, and they link a survey there, um, which is pretty interesting, show that most people who play disc golf consider 300 feet a good throw. Most discs on the market are very overstable, 100% facts. Those molds are designed for professionals who need that kind of stability to handle their massive power. They're not saying anything, they're not calling out any companies, but what they're saying is true. And then third reason is, it's affordable. Other companies pay big dollars to professional disc golfers to market their brand, we pass the savings along to you. Their mission is to get discs like these, under stable, lightweight, into the hands of beginners. So what are their three discs? We have the Narwhal, the Putter, the Leviathan, the Midrange, and for the fairway driver, the Kraken. Okay, three really cool putter, uh, putters, they're not all putters, three really cool discs, definitely feel lightweight, and honestly, while this isn't like a star density plastic, it feels like a really nice pro plastic uh, from Innova. So I would say it's somewhere in between those, it's nice and grippy, it feels good, um, and I feel like I could really throw these in all different types of weather. Before I read the descriptions of all of them, just by looking at them, these are all beadless, okay? Now, there are very, very few fairway drivers that are beaded, and those that are beaded, nobody really throws them. <laughs> so, um, this being beadless, not a surprise. This is the fairway driver. The mid-range is beadless. About half of the mid-ranges on the market are probably beadless, um, and this feels pretty good. It definitely comes out real nice. It is a nose, almost like between, uh, an Emac Truth and a Buzz SS, okay? A little more on the understable side. Uh, nice disc. And then you have the Narwhal. This is a beadless putter, pretty shallow lip, but there is quite a dome on this disc. So the disc definitely feels taller in the hand than, uh, the, than the lid here makes you to believe, leads you to believe. So all beadless, but all pretty good feeling. This one actually has a little bit of texture around the edge here that the others don't. And I think that's because um, their goal with the Narwhal was to make it a throwing putter and a putting putter. And when discs are, when putters are really slick on the bottom, it's hard to putt with. So they actually add a little bit of texture here. I think, well, if I was going to putt with this, I definitely feel more confident than if, you know, if this was a putter, it's super slick on the bottom. So I like that touch. Um, let's go ahead and let's read real quickly and get the flight numbers for these discs.
So starting with the Kraken driver, it's an easy to throw fairway with a 1.6 centimeter thick rim, which basically means it's a six speed. And according to their flight rating system, they say that it's a seven, five, minus one, one. So it has the rim thickness of basically a Leopard, a six speed, but they say it flies a little faster. I've been throwing it a decent bit. It definitely flies pretty fast for a six speed, so I'm not entirely opposed to that seven speed rating. That's seven, five, minus one, one. Uh, based on my throws and some of the things that you'll see, I think it might be a little bit more understable than they're saying, because um, I can throw this on a hyzer and it flips up to flat and turns with very little fade at the end. So. I'll give my final thoughts on the ratings at the end, but just beware, I think this might be a little bit more understable than they say. The next disc on their website that they describe is the Narwhal Putter. The Narwhal Putter is designed to work as an all-purpose disc, like I said, putting and throwing. It's a straight shooter with excellent glide and excellent distance for a putt approach disc. So you can really do a one disc round with this. I've been throwing this a little bit and it flies pretty nicely. You can compare the Narwhal to the Innova Dart, which when I first picked it up, I thought the same thing before reading the website, and uh, they're spot on with that. The flight numbers for this are 3500. Zero, zero. So this disc is pretty fast for a putter at three. You know, once you start hitting fours on putters, they start to really almost fly like mid ranges. So this is right on the edge there of being very close to a mid range. So it's a great throwing putter, ton of glide, zero, zero. So it's, it's going to turn with very little fade. I know it says zero turn, but when the disc has zero fade, it's definitely going to turn and fly pretty straight, especially once you beat it in. So that's the Narwhal. The last disc that they have here is the Leviathan Midrange. Super cool disc. I've really enjoyed throwing it so far. They say that this disc is designed specifically for beginners and low power disc golfers. It's a straight flying mid that doesn't fade much at the end of the flight, even for low power players. So if you're just starting out or if you're a young player, um, this disc isn't going to be a meat hook coming out of your hand. It's going to fly straight. It might even go to the right a little bit for a right hand backhand. So this might be a great mid range for you to look into. Flight numbers for this, five, four, minus three, zero. Let's go ahead, let's throw it. We'll throw them backhand and we'll throw them forehand to really see for myself, forehand being my strength, the way I can get the most distance out of a disc. Uh, we can really see what we can do with these discs. I got cones set up at 200, 250, and 300 feet. Thankfully, the city of McKinney has the lights on, so we are able to film out here with it being a little darker. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. So like you guys saw in that flight there, the Kraken with a right to left wind only turned and finished straight. It uh, didn't have enough stability to come back to the left. So on backhand, I find it to be uh, probably more about like a minus two, zero, maybe a 0.5 on the fade. I really don't see it fighting to come back a whole lot. But let's go ahead and let's throw them on the forehand. Holding the narwhal with a forehand grip, it uh, feels a little slick, okay? Even though there is that textured um, inside rim here, uh, because it is beadless, it just doesn't feel super comfortable in my hand. I normally don't th uh, throw forehands with putters that are shallow um, and rounded like this with no bead. It definitely feels a little awkward in the hand for me to throw a forehand. That's also because I don't throw beadless putters forehand like ever. So we'll see how this goes. I threw that so far pointed to the ground and it turned over.
Okay, that disc looks like it went about 300 feet. Obviously, it's hard to tell. Um, even if it didn't, it probably didn't go any shorter than 280 or 290. Um, you guys saw that turn on Heiser. That disc is definitely not minus one one. When I went to go pick this one up, it was at about 295. Um, and that was with it being, I don't know, 60 to 80 feet in the air. I might find minus one one for a beginner, but for someone who has been playing for a couple years and for some of you who are even more experienced and better disc golfers than me, um, you will find that disc to be super overstable. So if you're looking for a roller disc out of the box, you need to check out that Kraken. All right, now that I'm done throwing, I'm moving into the light a little bit so you guys can see me a little better. Um, final review of these discs. Super, super great discs for beginners. Um, I can definitely see, uh, maybe not pros, because I just think they're too light. Pros need that added weight to help with the stability a little bit, keep discs from turning over. Um, but I can definitely see for players like myself and advanced, using these discs with lower power shots. On this review, I was really trying to see what I could get out of these discs, and they are just too understable for me to use for full powered shots, especially on the forehand. Throwing backhand, I really like these discs for my skill set, okay? But for the forehand, you guys saw, they, they were just turning over like crazy. So for intermediate to advanced and uh, players who might be older, okay, and need a disc that's a little lighter, a little more understable. This is a great disc um, to power down, really hit those nice tunnel shots. Uh, for beginner players, you need to get a set of these divergent discs. And I think you guys who are just starting out will pick them up and you will realize just how good these are for your game. Because of the understability, these discs are going to teach you beginners um, proper nose angle, release, throwing hyzer flips, which is a necessity, throwing nice and flat, and really getting beautiful flights out uh, of the disc. It can be so frustrating when you're starting out throwing discs that should be understable by some of these other manufacturers and they're not turning out of your hand. They are meat hooks. It can be really frustrating and I totally understand that. I sometimes still feel like I'm going through that process. So getting a set of these discs from Divergent Discs, you guys won't feel that frustration. And because they come in pretty light weights, if you have some children or young teens who are starting out, um, they're great weights for them and they will definitely help beginners, both young and old, really learn to love the game of disc golf. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here for teaching everybody how to play disc golf and to love this sport, to love this game. So I hope you guys found this disc review super helpful. Um, final words, you need to check out Diversion Discs. Check out otbdiscs.com. Use the discount code GLADIATORDG to get a set of Divergent Discs for yourself or for a loved one, family, friend, a disc golf buddy. Um, get it for them. Also check out divergentdiscs.com and see what they have to say. I really think we're gonna be hearing a lot more from them in the future. I love their mission. I love what they stand for in the disc golf world. Go check them out. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Until next time, have a great round.